Tangent to a circle. Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we learned about tangents and some interesting facts related to it. Today in this video, we will get to know more about tangents to a circle. In our previous video, we left this question unsolved for you to try. So before moving ahead, let us discuss this question. You must remember that there is only one tangent at a point of the circle. And circle is a collection of infinite points. Hence, there can be infinite tangents to a circle. In our previous video, we learned that the tangent to a circle is a special case of the sesend where the two endpoints of its corresponding chord coincide. Let us look at this activity to understand this better. First, let's draw a circle and a sesend MN of a circle. Now, if various lines are drawn parallel to this sesend on both the sides, you will find that after some steps, as we are reaching towards the circumference of the circle, the length of the chord formed by the lines will gradually decrease, which means that the intersecting points of line and circle are coming closer. In case 1 and 2 of sesend, the distance between the points becomes 0, which means that both the points coincide. On observing, you will find that in this situation, line 1 and 2 are two tangents parallel to the sesend MN. With the help of this activity, we can say that the tangent is a special case of sesend where both the ends of the corresponding chord coincide. Let us see another activity. Draw a circle and its tangent on a piece of paper. Now, if from the center O of the circle, some lines to the tangent are drawn, which are OA, OB, OC, OD, OE, OF, OG and OH. On measuring these, we find that the line OD is the radius of the circle, its length is the shortest of all. Also, if we measure the angle between the tangent MN and the line OD, you will find that it is right-angled. That is, line OD is perpendicular to tangent MN. Based on this activity, we can say that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. You can confirm this yourself by any other method. Today in this video, we saw the relationship between the radius of a circle and its tangent. In the next video, we will see some more examples of tangent.